Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, diagram as you can see over here such that uh, this angle CAD and this angle BAC are congruent. In other words, both of them are labeled as angle alpha. And moreover, this angle CBD and this other angle CBE are congruent angles as well and I call them angle beta. Now we have been given this angle ACB as 23 degrees and now we are going to calculate this angle X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Before we proceed any further, let me make it clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle ABD. Now let's recall exterior angle theorem. The exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite uh, interior angles as you can see in this uh, diagram. And in our case, uh, as you can see, these are our two opposite uh, interior angles and this is going to be our exterior angle and this uh, opposite interior angle is going to be alpha plus alpha is going to be 2 alpha and likewise this exterior angle is going to be beta plus beta is going to be 2 beta. Therefore we can write uh, x plus uh, 2 alpha equals to 2 times uh, beta. In other words, these are our two opposite interior angles and this is our exterior angle. And now let's move this 2 alpha on the right hand side. So therefore, our angle x is going to be 2 beta minus 2 alpha. Let me go ahead and call this our equation number 1. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and draw a line that uh, passes through this point C. It goes all the way. As you can see in this next uh, diagram, this line FP passes through this point uh, C and it is parallel to this line E A as well. And now let's recall alternate interior angles theorem. Angles formed on the opposite side of a transversal when a transversal intersects two parallel lines. Now let's focus on this highlighted transversal line. This angle alpha and this angle are going to be alternate interior angles and they are always equal. If this angle is alpha, this angle has got to be alpha as well. Let's focus on this highlighted transversal. We can see that this angle beta and this angle are alternate interior angles. If this angle is beta, then this has got to be angle beta as well. And now let's make some observation. We know that this angle is alpha, this angle is beta. So this angle has got to be the difference of two angles. So this is going to be simply beta minus alpha equals to 23 degrees. Let me call this as our equation number two. And here's our final step. Let's focus on this equation one once again. We can write the right hand side could be written as I can factor out two and this is going to become beta minus alpha inside the parentheses. We know that our beta minus alpha equals to 23 degrees from this equation two. So therefore our x value is going to be equal to 2 times 23. So x turns out to be simply 46 degrees. So thus our angle x turns out to be 46 degrees. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. 
Bye.